Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on this first game of this March 4, 2022 NBA game day. Let's kick things off by talking about this game, Indiana Pacers with a record of 22-42, and 42, uh, visiting Detroit Pistons, uh, having a record of 16 wins and 47 losses. The game will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings real quick so that we'll have a closer look at these two teams. Starting with the Indiana Pacers, they are number 13 in the East. For their last 10 games, they have won three. And approaching this game, they're coming off a win. While the Detroit Pistons, they are right behind Indiana at number 14. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have won four. And approaching this game, Detroit is also coming off a win. That was a huge win against Toronto Raptors last night. All right, so on this game, it will be Detroit Pistons who would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, I got to give it to Detroit Pistons as well, man. Uh, they have won four out of their last six games, actually. So um, I know Indiana Pacers is also coming off a win, but um, I'm going to give it to Detroit, man. Uh, those wins of Detroit, uh, that you know, those wins that they had lately are huge, huge wins for me. Um, in terms of uh, momentum, though, I mean, in terms of fatigue, though, we got to give it to Indiana Pacers as Detroit Pistons just played last night. So let's take a look at the uh, injury list for both teams. For Detroit Pistons, we have Frank Jackson as day-to-day -day or game-time decision, while Marvin Bagley is still uh, listed as out for the game. Now looking at Indiana Pacers, we have uh, four listed as out, Rubio, Turner, Warren, and McConnell, while we have uh, Duarte as, a pro as questionable, Stephenson as probable, and Bitadze as game-time decision. So let me just go ahead and try to pull up the spread. All right, um, it opened up with minus five for Indiana Pacers, uh, minus five for Indiana Pacers. Uh, but as we speak, I guess it is now at minus three point five for uh, the visiting team, the Pacers. All right. So what are my two cents on this? Um, hmm. This is interesting because, just like I said in my previous video, I've been watching uh, Detroit Pistons since games for the past uh, couple of weeks. Man, they are actually looking good. If you don't know what their uh, what their true record is, uh, man, you, you you would think that they're like a playoff team. The way they distribute the ball, the way they find the open shot, man, they always find uh, the open three. They open threes um, in the corners. It's either uh, uh, Sadiq Bay or Cunningham. They're always uh, they're always willing to pass. And if they can't pass, man, their their, their dribble drive is just unstoppable. Um, and Cunningham, I can see Cunningham uh, gaining experience, gaining a lot of experience, man. Uh, may it be on the distribution, ball distribution. May it be on um, uh, taking his uh, perim perimeter shots, man. Those are not uh, the things that Kane Cunningham was doing in the first half of this season. Well, for Indiana Pacers, I also love what they're doing lately, man. Um, I watched that last game that they had. I thought they, I thought they lost it, man. The game was, um, they were down by like 18 points, but um, Halliburton started the spark. You know, he had a couple of steals, a um, couple of conversions. Of course, healed. Uh, he was um, sending. Uh, he was actually taking those three-point shots. Um, that actually forced uh, the game into a close one. And at the end, it was Indiana Pacers who actually took home the, the W. I guess the, the lead was up until uh, was up till 18 points. It was as high as 18 points. And I'm pretty sure that Orlando Magic would want to have it back. But, man, Indiana Pacers um, took it right, at, right, in front of the, right in front of them. So this is a very, um, a very different scenario for Indiana Pacers. Although, um, in Detroit Pacers is again one of the, you know, one of those teams who, who wouldn't make it to the playoffs. I think Detroit Pistons got more momentum. Detroit Pistons, uh, for me, got the better coach. Um, so uh, Indiana Pacers can't really do what they did last time. That you know they would allow Detroit Pistons like to to to, to take a lead like, as as. You know, as big as that, it will be very hard for Indiana for Indiana Pacers. So, uh, for Indiana to win, they have to establish their lead as early as they could. 
Um, Indiana's uh, Indiana's uh, advantage on this is that they are uh, they are well rested. While Detroit just had a game, um, and they're, they're actually coming off our road, so they, they they're traveling. So they have the you know they have the advantage. Detroit is tired. Um, for me, Indiana Pacers is actually bigger. They're actually um, in offensive rebounding. They can actually beat Detroit. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. But for Detroit Pistons, I guess their offense um, in the first half of the season, their offense is one of the worst. But ever since uh, ever since the All Star ha- All Star break happened, man, Detroit Pistons just really look different. Um, I'm gonna pick Detroit Pistons on this uh, with a plus three point five on it. But again. Just like my old line saying, don't be surprised if Detroit would actually win this one outright. I won. I won yesterday outright. I I I, I rolled the dice with Detroit Pistons, and Cade Cunningham didn't disappoint me. I hope that on this game, Det- uh, Cade Cunningham would also deliver. Detroit Pistons plus three point five. Peace out. Pass love and God bless.